Hello, this is Professor Stephen Escher, and I want to take you through um, how to measure bond strengths in Spartan. So um, what we're going to do, here's just the general outline. We're going to measure the energy in uh, atomic units of the whole molecule that we're interested in. Then we're going to measure the energy of its separated pieces, take the difference between them, and convert using this conversion factor from atomic units to kilojoules per mole. Uh, while we're at it, we'll measure the bond distance and then compare it to some literature values. So let's uh, let's go to this first part, the energy of the molecule. So I'm going to go back to uh, go to Spartan now, and uh, let's say the molecule we're interested is um, uh, F2. So there it is. Now um, what you would do as normal is you go here. For since it's a molecule, we're going to choose equilibrium geometry. Everything else I'll take as uh, as default, and you'd submit it. In my case, it's already been done. So then, what you want to do is go to this information bar, and here's the critical number uh, of uh, the energy of that molecule in atomic units. And, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go do the same thing for, for fluorine. Now, the only slight difference is to save yourself some time. You wouldn't do the equilibrium geometry for an atom. You just do the energy. Also, we have to make sure that we say that fluorine has one unpaired electrons. It has to because it has an odd number of electrons. Then you would submit that. Uh, and now uh, there's the energy. Once again, I've gone up here, and I, uh, and I get that. Now, uh, it's really handy to go and put this into a table. So I've kind of already set this up here. So there's the F2, and there's the F, and uh, those are the numbers that I just got. Now, the uh, the difference between them, uh, remember I've got to have the energy of two fluorine atoms minus the energy of one fluorine molecule. So I'm going to say that's equal to that energy times two because remember there's two fluorine atoms minus that energy and uh, so there we have the result now this result is in atomic units and i want to convert that into kilojoules so i'm going to say that's equal to that number and it times turns out that 26 26 is the is the conversion so what we get is that the uh, bond strength of the fluorine molecule is 167 kilojoules per mole, and I went ahead and looked that up uh, in the literature, and uh, that's the value, so it's not done too bad. Uh, one other thing is that um, if you want to, uh, if we want to find the distance between um, a, a, a the bonded pair, I just go here and uh, there, and looks like the distance is about 1.39. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that here, uh, 1.39 angstroms, and you can see that the literature value is, is not very different from that. Now, um, if you, uh, the only slight difference here is if you want to do, um, if you want to get the bond strength between something that's not a homonuclear diatomic or even two fragments, we could do something else. But in this case, um, for the hydroxyl radical, OH, I went ahead and did the atomic oxygen. Uh, in this case, for atomic oxygen, I had to specify uh, what's believed that it has two unpaired electrons. So that's what this is, okay? And uh, you can see that I had two unpaired electrons for that one, get an energy, and then uh, same thing for hydrogen, and then you go to OH and you get its energy. So in this case, I'm just bringing this up because when we go to get the difference, what we had to say was it's the difference that is the, the difference in the separated minus bonded forms is I would have to say, oh, it's what's in uh, C10, which is the oxygen, plus the energy in C11, that's the hydrogen, minus the, the thing put together. So there's no factor of two because I've added them all up already. And uh, let's see, I think one more thing is um, in terms of the literature values, um, you can uh, go anywhere if you like, but uh, here's, here's a place that you can go and get literature values for both the bond enthalpies, which is the same as that we're talking about the bond strengths. 
Um, and then uh, if it happens that you think that there's double bonds going on, then you might compare it to that for the literature, and then there's the bond lengths. All right.